What we found is that the risk of heart disease was present both among those who had very high blood sugar levels, typically uh, the amounts uh, used to define diabetes, but also we found these risks present in men and women with moderately elevated blood sugar levels below the typical threshold of diabetes. men were between 30 and 50 percent at higher risk of heart disease. That's ranging from 30 percent at moderately elevated, the pre-diabetes level, all the way, all the way right up to diabetes level. Uh, those same figures in women range from 50 percent to 100 percent, going from pre-diabetes levels of blood sugar all the way up to diabetes levels. We found there were four factors that explained the largest variation between men and women in the relationship between blood sugar and heart disease. Those four were two of them measures of obesity, body mass index, and our waist hip ratio. The other two were the use of preventative medications like antihypertensive in statin medications. Women at every level of uh, blood sugar level um, were more obese and had a more adverse waist hip ratio than men in our sample. They at the same time had lower usage of preventative medications like statins and antihypertensive at every level of blood sugar. There's a spectrum, there's a whole range that we can have. If somebody lives more of an active lifestyle, eats healthy, uh, doesn't smoke, they're typically gonna be more on the lower end of the blood sugar levels. Um, what we found is even those with moderately elevated levels, those that have prediabetes, as well as those who have diabetes, are all at risk for incident heart, heart disease. what we've been able to find is not only what is more commonly known that people with diabetes have a range of risk factors like obesity um, uh, and, and other lifestyle factors, uh, but we found that these risks were present in both men and women below the threshold of, of diabetes. And it makes us really wonder about the clinical cut points that we're using to identify and define diabetes and whether question whether we should be uh, amending this cut point. What we need to know is how blood sugar impacts the risk of heart disease. We explored the rates in that it does exist. What we need to know is how. 